what we're going to do here is now that we have our exploded assembly done, we're going to go through and create a parts list or a working drawing essentially for all of our objects. So we're going to come down here and create a new drawing. Um, once we do that, we want to go ahead and set our base component. Um, I just came out of the uh, presentation file folder, that's why it automatically grabbed that one. Um, you'll notice down here I have all of my different parts open. If I have those all open, they're all going to be on the drop down menu here. If I don't, I can click on this uh, little folder in magnifying glass and I can simply navigate to whatever folder I have them saved in. Um, so you can do it either way. Um, for my first ones, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, 2 to 1 ratio. Um, and we want them to be solid, so we want to make sure we have that shaded part there. And then we'll click OK. And then what we're able to do is just kind of move these up uh, in the corner for right now. That's kind of our blueprint so we know how our cube goes together. Um, next thing we're going to do is we need to go through and dimension each one of our cubes. So for this first one, I'm going to change the orientation just by clicking on the cube here. I'm going to switch my size down to one by one. That way I can get all of my individual drawings on here. Once I have my three views, I can simply come in here, move them all close together, and then highlight them and stick them up here in the corner. Now if we needed to, we could go through and we could actually uh, dimension out each one of our pieces. So that way we know how big they are, and then uh, from my entire working drawing, if I were building this from scratch, I'd have my assembly, all of the dimensions for my parts, uh, and everything in one location. So sometimes you can do that on one sheet, sometimes it is a series of sheets, depending on how big the objects are. This is something that's very small, so it makes it very easy to fit them all into one piece. So once I go through and I get all five of my pieces on here, um, I would also go through and add your assembly view. Now, if I clicked OK, notice I don't have my other views. I can come in here and select project, and my projected view is the same view. It just does it, you, it instead of automatically doing it, it sets it up. So. Um, you can set it up either way. Um, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to do a uh, view of just my assembled cube. So if I go to my actual assembly here, again, I'm going to keep it at a one-to-one -one ratio. And the nice thing here is it shows it all put together. So I can have all three of my views just like I normally do. Now, if I have something like this where my my color didn't transfer over, it's because one of my boxes wasn't selected. I can just double click on that. That'll apply it to three of them. And then I just have to double click on my assembly view and apply it to that one as well. So, so you can still get it on all of them as you go through. And again, this is just another helpful blueprint to make sure how this looks with this. Um, the other thing that I need to get in here is I need to get my parts list. Um, so in order to get my parts list, I need to go up here to the annotate tab and I have what's called a parts list. So I'm going to click my, my view here and I'm going to select my exploded assembly. Um, I'm going to simply click OK and then I can kind of just click and set my drawing. Now this is kind of small. There's an extra column for description, so if I double click on that, I can see it here. Now, in this, if I was going to describe it, I could do my wood cubes, I could go through and do my plastic cubes. It's all a matter of what I want to show exactly. In this particular instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the descriptions portion and just keep it at item, quantity, and part number. Um, the other thing I want to do to enlarge this is if I go to my uh, right here, this is my parts list uh, layout. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to switch this to my label text. And what that'll do is it'll make my um, 
all my text a little bit bigger. So you can kind of see I have my objects here. Now I can place this wherever I've got room if I want to go up here in the corner, um, wherever. The other thing is I have the item number there. The item number references the balloons. So I can come in here and place individual balloons. Um, so you can see my orange one is number three and it shows up there as well. Um, I can also do something called auto balloon. Um, it's, it's somewhat handy, but uh, when it places the balloons, it doesn't always place them in the proper location. Uh, so you end up having to move and rearrange them anyway. So I would just recommend just for this one, because it's a simple small part, I would just go through and just place in your individual uh, labels for your five pieces. <laughs> now what we can do here is we can <coughs> go through and edit our balloons um, or uh, change the style. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to edit balloon style. And what I want to do is for my um, text, again I want to switch it to labels so it's a little bit bigger. So I can close it and you can see my numbers are a little bit more visible. Again, it's not a huge change. It's more about just getting them in there. Um, so as I go through and do this, I just want to get each of my parts in there, get them scaled down. So I have one standard blueprint sheet that will house all of my drawings. And then we'll be able to print those off. So that way, if you forget how to uh, put your cube together, you have a reference drawing of how they're supposed to go and what pieces are what.